Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Tableau Zen Master Luke Stanky, and in this video, we are going to create the Tableau Seismogram. Uh, I don't know what else to call it. There doesn't actually, it's not actually a seismogram. Uh, it sort of looks like one, and it's very focused in the Tableau community on, on being called specifically a seismogram. So we're going to recreate this particular visualization. We're going to do it in Tableau 2020.4 using the sample Superstore data. And I'm just going to hop in and get started. And we're going to do this by basically showing sales and month. The way we do this is we'll just create a new sheet. So there we go. I'm going to now go find order date. Click and drag that out on columns. I'm going to change my date value here to the month date value. So that's going to return month and date. So there's a little tick for every month and year combination. And now I'm going to take measure names. I'm going to add that onto detail and measure values up to rows. We've got a lot of different measures showing up on our view. We're just going to double click down below here and type negative sum of sales. There we go. And now I'm going to get rid of everything except for negative sum of sales and sum of sales so one at a time or I can just do a multi-select remove them all from here we're just going to take measure name put it on path and what you're going to see is not going to be perfect yet we need to add one more measure to our view but I'm going to add measure name to our view looks a little bit messy but you can sort of see some odd symmetry showing up in our view go find order date once again Click and drag that out onto detail and then change your date type to the month date part or date value once again. And there you go. That's it. That's our Tableau seismogram. From there, you can just size it up, change the values. And if you decide you want to change your aggregation to like month, week number, you can go ahead and do that. Just make sure that you change your columns and you change your detail as well. And you can have the Tableau seismogram. This is actually how I prefer the view, like the lines very, very close together. I also don't add color to it when I do it. I just think it looks a lot cleaner without color. Though, if you were gonna choose color, uh, I think it's kind of fun sometimes when you add it on there. So just click and drag and duplicate color on our view. And then maybe we'll just take um, diverging blue and orange, something like that. I don't know, again, I don't like color on it. I think it looks really good when it stands alone as is. Anyway, that's this video. So how would you rate this video? On a scale of one to 10, where are you gonna rate the seismogram? I rate it as a two. I think it's a very easy visualization to create, but I wanna hear your feedback as well. Anyway, put it down in the comments. If you have any ideas for videos too, throw it down in the comments as well. And if you are enjoying this series or if you've watched more than one video, you should just hit the subscribe button so you can just hit it into your inbox as they come out. Anyway, that's this video and we'll catch you in the next one.